your own house in order first. First, you must put your own house in order before you can save the world. This is a principle in Jordan Peterson's book, 12 Rules for Life. All too often, people preach, fight for causes, and they haven't put their own house in order. May that be eating healthy. May that be losing weight. May that be getting rid of bad addictions. May that be literally putting your house in order and getting organized. Plus, when you put your house in order, you are more healthy. You uh, feel lighter, less stress. If you are around a messy environment at home, that will cause stress. And when you have things out of order, you can feel overwhelmed, even if you try to ignore it. So, this is what I'm focusing on, putting my house in order. In all aspects of my life where I need to fix and improve. I will still work towards my other goals, but this is um, really critical. So making a lot of changes right now. Really disappointed with my progress, disappointed in myself. But I think I'm moving in the right direction. But I don't know. I don't know. But yet I continue. The better it's to fight for something better and surrender, especially if you're not pleased with where you are. So, I'm gonna make a move soon, see what, how it goes. I need some hope. I've been fighting for 10 years. I do need some hope. And like I said in an earlier video, what hope is the best? Hope based on results, on just so prayer, not knocking prayer, but we do need results of some sort in order to increase our morale. These are um, serious times for me. I'm getting very, very serious about things. I hope it leads to something. I've been made over 700 videos. Dedication, dedication to a cause, not winning the battle. And it's getting discouraging, but I will never stop fighting, but it fail forever. Then surrender. So I'm gonna increase discipline. There's no tomorrow. I'll be very regimented. So Next video, I'll talk about what has helped me during these times as my morale has been dwindling for several reasons. Many I will not go into. Hope you're doing well from the hurricane.
that was not where I live. But feel for those who were affected by the hurricane. A lot of people in California don't know basic things about hurricanes. First thing is where it hits land first is where it's going to be the worst. And over time, as it goes over land, more and more and more land, it loses strength. And eventually, it's not considered a hurricane anymore. Once the winds are below, I think it was 85 miles an hour, whatever. It was steady rain, just like last year in California. Little windy in the morning, humid for a while. For the morning, and it seemed like a regular rainstorm, very tropical at one time. They called it a tropical storm. And this is a first tropical storm in California, Southern California since 1939, just before World War II. But nevertheless, I think there'll be some more rain tomorrow. Or goes out for the to those who in Mexico, where it was desert, I heard. Sonora, California. Sonora, the state in Mexico, was affected. A, because it was a hurricane. B, because where it hit, it's mostly desert, so the ground was not used to handling much water or rainwater, so that caused devastation from what I heard from somebody. Or goes out to those people, and I hope they can rebuild and get their lives back. And hope there was in deaths. So here I am. Just looking forward to today. Just talking to somebody to make a move. I have no guarantee. I will have a limit one month. If it doesn't make a certain amount of money, I'll pursue it. I need something. I need to make a big move. I think I'm getting there, but I'm sick of I think. Have a good evening. Keep on fighting. Fight for hard goals. And make change who you are. For the better. Thank you.